Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Let's Create Blackout Zombies in UE4. So in this episode we're going to concentrate on ammo and reloading because at the moment you can just shoot forever and there's no reload functionality. So in the Weapon Master actor, create two integer variables, one called Current Clip Ammo and one called Max Clip Ammo. I'm going to make Max Clip Ammo 24 by default. I'm also going to put Current Clip Ammo in the No Edit category since we'll never be editing it in Blueprints. In the construction script, set the current clip ammo to the max ammo so we always start with a full clip. In the first person character, create a variable called ammo of type weapon master class. We're going to change the type to a dictionary and make the values an integer. This way we're going to be able to have a set number for every single weapon and we're going to use that for the maximum amount of ammo that we can carry, sorry, that we are carrying for our weapons. So add all the guns and add a ammo amount for each one. I just kind of chose random numbers around 120. So for testing, since we don't have a HUD yet, uh, uh, let's create the event tick. And if the equipped weapon is valid, print a string. From the in string, uh, call an append node. And for A, put the equipped weapon's current clip ammo. And then for B, put a slash. And then for C, get the ammo variable, find, for the input, get equipped weapon, and then the out is the integer for C. We can actually collapse all this code for the C value as a function called get weapon total ammo, and we can make it pure. In the fire trace function, after the line trace, but before the recoil, get the equipped weapon, set the current clip ammo to the current clip ammo minus one, and clamp it from zero to the max clip ammo. Collapse this to a function, and we'll call it decrement clip ammo. In the event graph, when the left mouse button is pressed, after equipped weapon is valid, but before the gate, check if the equipped weapon's current clip ammo is greater than zero. Now this works fine for single fire weapons, but automatic weapons won't work until we stop shooting. So off left mouse button released, after the equipped weapon is valid, collapse the rest to a function called stop shooting. Inside that, collapse the stop timer to a macro called clear automatic fire. Make sure it has an output execution pin and that the false off the branch goes into it as well. Back into decrement ammo, before decrementing, check if the current clip ammo is greater than zero. If this is true, continue to the code. If it's false, stop shooting. In weapon master, create a float variable called reload time, and I made it 2.2 seconds by default. Back in the first person character, create a function called reload. We want to get the weapon total ammo, check if it's greater than zero, and check if the equipped weapon's current clip ammo is less than the max clip ammo, so that we can't reload if we already have a full clip. If you have a reload animation, this is where you would want to play it as a montage, but since we don't, we're just going to be bringing the gun below the camera for a set amount of time, uh, reload, and then bring it back up after. So to do that, we'll need a custom event called reload animation, add a timeline to reload animation, and we want to make sure it's playing from start. We're going to make it one second long, add a float track alpha, and make five points. One that's going to be at 0, 0, one that's going to be at 0 0.1 and 1, one that's going to be at 0 0.5 and 1, one that's going to be at 0 0.9 and 1, and one that's going to be at 1 and 0. And we're going to auto interp all of them except for the middle. We're also going to add another track, but this time it's going to be an event track, which is going to give us an execution pin, and we're going to call it ammo update. We're going to put that key at the time 0 0.5 and the value is 1. So before we call the timeline, we want to update how long it actually takes because we don't want each reload to be exactly one second. So get the timeline, I called mine reload animation timeline, and set its play rate to 1 divided by the equipped weapon's reload time. Off the update, set the weapon placement relative rotation. We want to split it because we just want the Y and pull a lerp off of that and make it go from 0 to negative 90. Off the ammo update, set the current clip ammo from the equipped weapon's max clip ammo. Then get our ammo variable and call an add node. The class will be our equipped weapons class and the value will be our get weapon total ammo minus our max clip ammo. Now it's important to note that even though this is called add, it won't actually add another key to our dictionary list, it works both as an add and an update if the key already exists. So we're really just updating um, the, the value from this specific weapon. Let's collapse this all to a function. We're going to call it ammo transfer because we'll need to update it later. And then add the custom event to our reload function. Off input r, call the reload function. Off left mouse button pressed. If the clip ammo is not greater than zero, called reload call reload as well. This way, if we try to fire when we have zero ammo, it will reload instead. All right, so let's test it out. It works great, except some of the numbers are wrong, uh, such as if we reload before running out of a clip. 
In the ammo transfer function, convert the current clip ammo to a local variable called local current ammo at the beginning. We want to pull a select off the set current clip ammo, and the index is going to be if the get weapon total ammo plus the current clip ammo is greater than or equal to the max clip ammo. If this is true, set it to the max clip ammo, but if it's false, set it to the weapon total ammo plus the current clip ammo. Off add ammo, pull a select off the value with the same index. For the adding ammo node off the true in the select, change it to the get weapon total ammo minus the max clip ammo minus the local current ammo. Now the ammo transfer should work perfectly. Next we need to make sure we can't shoot our aim while reloading. So create a boolean called is reloading, and in the reload function check it to true after the branch, then add a pin to the and for the branch and check if we are not reloading. Off the finished of the reload animation timeline, set the reload boolean to false, add a second branch before the gate and the first branch in the left mouse button, and check if we're not reloading. Now this gets rid of being able to shoot while reloading, but we also want to make sure we can't ADS while reloading. So off of the right mouse button pressed before ADS event, ask if we are not reloading. In the reload function, before we call the reload animation event, call unADS to continue. That way, if we are already in our ADS, we call reload, it will unADS before reloading. For better game feel, uh, we can make it so they go back to ADSing if they're still holding down the right mouse button. So after the reload animation timeline is finished, we can ask if the player controller is input key down right mouse button is true, and if it is, we can call ADS. So it just checks if we are holding down our right mouse button, and if we are, it will go back to ADSing. And we can do the same thing with shooting. So off the ADS call and the false off the branch, add another branch asking if the left mouse button is down. If this is true, we can just call the fire macro. So earlier I mentioned if you try to fire while out of ammo, it will reload instead of firing, but this only works for single fire weapons. So let's reload automatic weapons if you're still holding down the left mouse button when you run out of ammo. So in the decrement clip ammo at the end, if the equipped weapon current clip ammo is not greater than zero, and the input key down is the left mouse button, and our equipped fire type is automatic, uh, we can call reload. We also have to go into the automatic fire function and check if the current clip ammo is greater than zero before we call the fire trace because in some rare instances the last bullet in your clip can fire twice. Another bug to fix is occasionally automatic weapons can fire while in the second half of reloading and to fix that just go into the fire trace and before everything add an is not reloading to check. So now if we test it everything should work pretty seamlessly. Uh, if we continue to hold down our left mouse button while firing automatic weapons, it'll just uh, reload and then it'll continue to fire if we are still holding down that button after it's done reloading. Same works for single fire weapons and the same with ADS. Um, our ammo transfer works correctly. If you look in the upper left, any combination of uh, moving ammo from our max ammo to our clip ammo should work. And once we're completely out of ammo, uh, we just shouldn't be able to fire at all. All right, so that's it for ammo and reloading. Relatively simple, and even simpler, honestly, if you have a reload animation. All right, uh, next couple episodes, we'll be finishing up the uh, weapon mechanics, just such as uh, switching weapons, uh, adding some effects to it, like the muzzle flash and impact effects, and then a little bit of weapon sway, and then we're going to get onto the zombies. So make sure you stick around. See you next time. Darling, you